Hello and welcome to the LOL Esports Roundup for September 9th. We're covering all the news from this past week because we haven't had a roundup for a few days. Um, normally with the roundup we do do no news and notes. Uh, so for those that are new to the channel, which there are at least 500 of you, so that's pretty cool. You might get to 2,500 at this rate. We might get to 2,500 this weekend, which is pretty awesome. Um, so cover some news and notes which is going to be in chapters below if you want to skip that crap and then um sneak peek of tomorrow's games uh in the lec and lcs three links in the comments we got the twitter follow me there discord join the discord youtube memberships for three dollars you can support me get a badge in the comment section i see it cool thank you you're just trying to keep me afloat and uh allow this channel to grow so i can do this that is you know that's pretty self-explanatory $10 membership, you will get my predictions on the winners of games. You get NFL, American football related content. That includes predictions of winners of those games, as well as fantasy football content, if that's the sort of stuff that interests you. Um, now, for news and notes, we have a few things here from this past week to touch on. Some that not many people are going to care about, and then uh, a couple things that people are going to probably care about. So, T1, swap out coaches. Polt is out. Benji is in. Benji is a three-time world champion jungler from early on in the SKT days, right? So, we know of Benji. Now, Polt was a coach all summer long, and he's the one that seems to be pushed onto the sword um, as the fans act absolutely atrociously and disgustingly awful towards the team and towards a bunch of people that are like rookies and 19 and 20 year old kids that really we're going to get a lot better until these fans like started treating them like crap so uh benji went 5 and 13 in summer of 2021 as a coach this is a bit concerning um when i looked up his stats on leaguepedia while well, his tournament results for as a coach as the latest thing i found um he was a coach of T1 rookies before this, um, but Leaguepedia must not track that. Um, now, last year's summer 2021 roster featured Roach, a former top laner, LCK level top laner. Mowgli, an LCK and I believe LEC level jungler. Um, so that's a thing. Myru in mid. Myru is pretty young, I think. 21 years old maybe right now or 19 i forget if he's born in 01 or 03 nevertheless he is the mid laner of astral esports in latin america now um and berserker we know berserker he is c9's 80 carry so those four players all have lck two have lck experience one has lcs experience and we have a latin american player that he only got to 5 and 13 last year in um challengers in the lck take that for what you will this is a bit concerning. Fennel buys Rascal Jester. Um, I don't know anything about Fennel, unlike when Heretics bought Misfits. And I was like, oh, well, Heretics. Okay, well, Fennel bought Rascal Jester. Rascal Jester is no more. Um, Astral Esports are selling assets again. Um, after spring, they sold out. Uh, quite a few players left. Mia went to TSM, as an example. Um, and they had finished second in spring, tore it down. I thought that, oh, well, this is going to be a problem. Finished second in summer and lost game five on a clutch play by Jelly and Gravato of Isaris Gaming. If you missed the end of game five in the Stral Isaris series to determine who goes to Worlds, you should honestly watch like the last minute and a half. Like, that was truly something that's going to be on highlight. I say it every time. It's going to be on highlight packages in Latin American League of Legends forever. Like, it is truly astounding what happened. Um, so what does Astral do? Well, Boogie's allowed to go. Yang, their coach, is allowed to go. Um, Achi and Top Lane's allowed to go. So they're, all of a sudden, they're tearing it down again. Boogie is very good. Um, I believe he's a Korean jungler, if I recall correctly. And I doubt he's going to... Um, I mean, he might get another shot in another minor region, but as of right now, um, you know, he's definitely dom He was the, definitely the best minor region jungler in. Um, I, I mean, he's definitely the best Latin American um, jungler. I won't say minor region because that includes BCS, PCS. But lastly, EG sub and Kyori. We knew this already. I made a video about it earlier in the week. In my opinions about Danny's situation, um, and you know. 
it was a much bigger, it's a rant pretty much. So if you missed it, that was a rant by me. Um, the first one that I've ever done didn't monetize it because I started uh, swearing and things like that. But uh, my opinion on that situation is there. Um, now, Kyrie is going to play this weekend. He had a 386 KDA and 958 CS per minute in Academy this past split. 68 KP, 34 7 kill share, 25 9 gold share, 11 cha uh, champions played in 36 games. Um, I have heard, based on what the comments were in that video and um, comments on the Discord, I believe, um, TCL fans believe that Kyori is better than Luger. Kyori was stuck, was the starter in TCL, maybe on Supermassive. Luger was behind him, or vice versa, and, one of, and his contract was one more year than Luger, so that's why it took him one more year to get over here. Um, and that's why he's been sitting in um, Academy this year. Maybe language diff was an issue too. Um, just acclimating to English. I'm not 100% sure. So don't quote me. I mean, I'm just, just, I'm just, I think that's maybe been something that someone said. Um, so, Kyori, if he's better than Luger, EG might be okay. Um, it is an interesting thing because they only have like a week of scrims, right, to, to get this worked out. Um, Danny. His stats were much stronger. 754 KDA at a higher level, nearly same farm, same KP, slightly less um, kill share, and 1.5% uh, less gold share, 10 champions in 18 games. Ezreal, notably the most played by Danny in summer split. That's a regular split, not playoffs. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, we're going to get into it in a minute. Um, let's see what happens. So, Fnatic and Rogue. Uh, this one starts us off tomorrow morning. Fnatic 10 and 8, Rogue 11 and 7. Rogue coming off of an easy 3 0 beatdown by G2 to them. Fnatic um, struggling, you know. Fnatic are struggling. Uh, got by Mad Lions, but Mad Lions uh, really, really, really didn't get the job done. Uh, Mad had a completely terrible read on the meta and thus are now in play ins. So, are Fnatic okay? I mean, they're running through the bot. They're running through the um, loser bracket right now. But I mean, I, I would really like to see a little bit more out of them. Um, especially, I don't even think they're going to really get it from Rogue because Rogue are struggling way, like big time. I think I may have screwed up earlier. Said Fnatic struggling, but I meant Rogue are struggling. Um, Fnatic are just making their way through the loser bracket, and Rogue, I mean, despite beating Mad Lions in five games. Just didn't show up against G2. And G2 brought out, you know, Seraphine Bot and things like that twice. So, week one, day one, Fnatic, one, Wonder, one, 7 and 6. That game, um, opening day, Draven Morgana was played by Fnatic. Um, I put down Wonder because I don't think Wonder had such a good game, kill score wise, all split long. Week five, day one, Rogue would return the favor. Larson going 7 0 10 on an Azir. Razork versus Malrung is what I want to watch. I believe both junglers are what is going to make things happen in this game. Um, whichever one can get their bot lane ahead, can help their bot lane out, and help mid out will come out victorious. I think Humanoid and Larson are pretty close. Um, I think Malrung and, and Razork are pretty close. I mean, some people are going to say Razork's been playing a lot better recently, and he has been. But I think they both play a similar style of game, and the expectations out of both are, are, are the same. They need to help facilitate. Um, and that's what this meta is about. Wonder and Odo in top lane, they're going to just, you know, play weak side or whatever and kind of just be on their own island. And it comes down to mid and bot for this one. Um, 100 Thieves and EG. Uh, 100 Thieves 14 and 4, EG 15 and 3. Week 1, Day 2, EG 1. Inspired 8, 1 and 6 in that one on a Viego. Week 5, Day 2, 100 Thieves 1. Abadage 7, 1 and 5 on a Nazir. FBI versus Kyori is what we want to watch. We have to see what this bot lane does for EG, right? Are they going to show up or are they not? What is this player all about? Is the moment too big for him? Um, he's played in the TCL before, so I'd like to think it isn't. But at the same time, this is a major region, and this is literally the semi, like, I don't know, is this the loser finals, I guess? Or, you know, winner goes, winner is the second seed, loser goes to play-ins, right? So this is a big deal. This is, this is a big, big, big deal here, right? You, I mean, as 100 Thieves, you do not want to go to play-ins because honestly, and I've said it time and time again, 
out of the three LCS teams, 100 Thieves are definitely the one that I think could struggle getting out of play-ins. I think they're, they are limited. I think they're very predictable. Do they play a clean version of League of Legends? Yes, it is the Fred at Breon of the LCS. Um, I don't like Fred at Breon. So, you know, that's my opinion on that. EG, um, let's see what they got. We'll see what they got. Let's see if they're not too shaken up. See if JoJo can show up. This is maybe a moment where JoJo needs to really um, take over as that young player to carry the team. Step up. Inspired your MVP now. Step up. You know, it's time. It's time. So um, that's it for the roundup for today. Become a member. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for Daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter and Discord. Um, my prediction video will be out in a minute. Um, I also intend on uploading content tomorrow, a roundup, as well as the um, World's 2022 preview video. I don't know who it's going to be about yet. Maybe RNG, but I think RNG are the last. RNG are the last major team I haven't talked about, so RNG will be tomorrow morning um, in the roundup. So thank you for watching. Hope you come back for more content.